lattes, cold chillers, and more. Today we take you on a road trip to Johnson City Coffee Co. We are inside Johnson City Coffee Co. and talk about a cute setting I'm joined now by the owner, Nancy. Hello, thanks for having me. Well, I have to say it's beautiful when you walk in. I'm just taken back by all the decor. What, what are some of the customer favorites? Our first focus is the quality of our coffee. Yes. Um, we have a really strong partnership with Greater Goods Coffee. And so we can say our coffee is locally roasted, but it's nationally recognized. The big benefit that we offer here is the ambiance. Yes. We do get a lot of reviews about just how good this place feels. Mm -hmm. We were lucky to find a lot to build in that was surrounded by all these trees. Mm -hmm. And I like to think it almost feels like you're in a tree house in here with yes. the windows and the trees. Yes. We wanted a place where people could sit and stay. Mm -hmm. You know, we've got games and books and customers use all different apps, all different parts of the shop that way. The ambiance is indeed welcoming and very Texas inspired. But my favorite part, look at this, a little milk bar. Okay, what do I want here? I think I'll go with the oat. Now time to make some signature drinks. I'm here with Sam. What are we making? So today we are going to make a hot case honey pecan mate and then we are going to make a iced gusses. So we'll go ahead and make the hot case first. I just do a little bit of honey, a pump and a half of butter pecan, and then a quarter teaspoon of brown sugar. Get this espresso pulling. And they are very, very good. And the case is not overly sweet either. It's a very good balance between the espresso and the flavor. All right, so I'll go ahead and pour this. For this Gus's, I've already got my ice in the cup. We pre-batch into these pitchers. We started with one of these, have upgraded to two of them throughout the last couple of years. So this base, a little bit of whole milk, chocolate milk, a few pumps of sweetened condensed milk, and a few pumps of hazelnut. Like I said, it sounds like a lot, but with the cold brew, <laughs> yes. And it is our most highly caffeinated drink. And if you're not into coffee, they have smoothies, Topo Chico chillers. I went with the lavender flavor. All right, we made some delicious drinks, but now time to talk food, because you do have some small bites available as well. We do. We try to offer something for lunch and breakfast. Mm -hmm. um, we have a whole host of pastries available for breakfast. I just put a couple samples out here. We saw, offer two quiches, bacon cheddar, and also we have a spinach tomato. And then we have all kinds of pastries. This is our cinnamon bites, our version, the donut hole version of a cinnamon roll which is really delicious. But there's scones, we have gluten-free pastries, we have a lot of good options. Lunch, we come. We have salads and sandwiches. This is our most popular, it's a turkey bacon wrap in a spinach tortilla. We offer some chips, brownies, anything you need to go with it to make a full meal for you. Okay, I'm gonna sample some of these drinks, but what's next for uh, Johnson City Coffee Co? We always have projects we're working, and our most immediate projects are food trucks, for one. Cast Iron Punk out of Blanco provides all of our food right now, and they are going to open, within the month, a food trailer right on site so we can serve some hot meals here. All right, well, for more information, you can head over to salive.com, click the As Seen on SA Live tab, or scan the QR code on your screen. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you for having me, Nancy. Oh, that's refreshing. Lavender.